So like today we are going to deal with the sets and the dictionary. So let's first see what are the functions in the sets we have. Now what exactly is a set? It is also a data type which can hold uh, values, heterogeneous values, right? And is uh, like you can say on the elements inside the set are uh, having a unique values like right? there are no duplications or no duplicate values for any of the element right so for once you have written something you cannot write it for it again all right that's the thing in the set and it's like mostly used by many of the applications mobile applications or something like which goes for social accounts and all we used by these sets okay so we see a lot of functions here let's start with some of them so the very first let's start that if you want to add something to a set how can we right so first let's make a set so let's say a set a is equals to one two and three okay now uh, we'll see the type of this a right now in this case no indexing is like a of 0 a of 1 is not there right no indexing okay so 1 2 and 3 is the set a you can see right next thing now let's say a set b having 3 4 and 5 okay this is 1 2 3 3 4 and 5 right now if I want to add something to set a and then to set B what exactly it means right so the very first method is add method so I say a dot add so like I want to add 5 or 4 like this A dot add of four. We run this A. So we see one, two, three, and four, right? Similarly, if I say that we add six to B, put it with B dot add six. Very easy way. And we'll look on to our B. Three, four, five, and six. Now, so when I say that there are no duplication, that means elements cannot be repeated up, right? So what if I, in case now I write the same thing, a add of four and b add of six, and then printing a and b. So do we see any changes no why because the element was added or element was present there before right so no uh, repetitions of the elements all right that is clear right next so now the next thing is the very first method add was might be written here yeah so this is add next is something called as update we'll learn it in the next Now, now this two sets A and B have something in common, right? So to find the common element, what do we have to write? Okay, so let's say common element, or you can say on the intersection. 
so this is a dot intersection of b or you say b dot intersection of a or you say b and a or you say a and b all these are the same values have the same values these are the intersections of finding the common element between the two sets all right next similar to this if we say that we want to find the difference a different element different element or the uncommon what you can say a dot difference of b b dot difference of a or just a minus b or b minus a and this all right so with a in the in the first one what do you see one two so that is in the a what is the difference with the b that is one and two in the b what is the difference with a that is five six similarly with a minus b that is the first one b minus a is the second one next so this is something called as individual difference element from one set to one set right next we call something as symmetric difference there is a combined difference value so what do you see 1 2 5 and 6 so between these two sets a and b the total uncommon elements are 1 2 5 and 6 all right Clear. All right. Next is something called as a uh, union, a combined value. Combined elements. Okay, so we say A dot union of B, B dot union of A, A union B, B union A. What do you see in the four things? These are basically the four methods. All right, in any of the method you can write. What do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six. Your union. Like we are having one, two, three, four, and three, four, five, six. If we combine, three, four will not be uh, coming for two times because three, four is for once, right? Because duplications cannot be allowed. So one, two, and then five, six. Uh, sorry, one, two, three, four, and then five, six. All right. Next. So with all the functions to union, uncommon, common, intersection, add and all, there comes a function called as update. So before going to update, let's go with something more. Now uh, if I say a C four and five. Okay. Now, if you look on to the B and C, so I can say that C is a subset of B. Why? Because something in the C is also present in B. 
or something which is present in C is also present in B. Right? So I can like write as something like print or let's say we call it as what do you say? Subset. So C is subset of B. That is true. Let's say elements are common. So B is the opposite of subset. Superset of C. True. All right. Okay. Let's add one more column. So this is particularly the reciprocal of subset. That's it. Just the opposite thing. All right. Next. So we will get the update function. Now, how does an update works? Update is something like once you write up the thing, it will be uh, stored it like it will be stored for now whatever you have deal with the intersections and the difference when you will print a and b and c you will not see any difference in the original values but when you will be using update it will be just updated like the original values will be updated or replaced you can say of right so let's say uh, first we'll be looking on to the intersection update so before going to intersection update I'll make D E and alright F as A dot copy D dot copy and C dot All right, fine. So now intersection update. Let's see. Intersection update is something like what you got in the intersection. That was one, two, oh, sorry, three and four. I hope. Uh, where it is intersection three and four, right? So now if I write a dot intersection of B, that means that I am going to find the intersection of A and B and will be updating the value to the first set written there that is a value however it is 1 2 3 4 will be kept only 3 and 4 if i write b dot intersection of a only the b value will be 3 and 4 uh, or, or it will be replaced or 1 and 2 will be removed totally and b value will be 3 and 4 right see how like if i say d dot intersection update of E. Alright. And you see your D value. See 3 and 4. However, the E value will be same 3, 4, 5, and 6. Alright. What is my F? 4 and 5. Okay. Now let's say that if I write E dot or F dot the Mm, same let's go with e e dot intersection update of f right what will be the value 4 and 5 if i check the e and if i print the f also we'll find the same things now see the original values will be updated now you will not get 1 2 3 4 in place of e and f like that Previously it was 3, 4, 5, 6. Now it is only 4 and 5. That goes with the sets. Right? Same goes with the difference update and all. Let me write the things. C 
so let's run this again and these are the results okay next is symmetric update e dot symmetric difference update Three, six, and four, and five. All right. So these are the results. Exactly. All right. So this is how it goes with the sets, right? Uh, let's go with some of the questions. Sets. Sets questions were in the assignment I hope. Subset, superset, union, intersection, difference, subjects, and all. Right, sometimes uh, you will be getting pop kind of like if you have set of elements, you'll say S is equals to uh, like A, B, C. Right, let's say S dot B O P pop. So the last element, or uh, like sorry, not the last, a random element is being removed, right? And a very interesting thing in the set is that in set everything is in the ordered way, right? But you will get the definitions that a set is unordered. But the thing is that everything is in ascending order. Like if I write a is equals to five, four, six, seven. When I print my a, I see it to be four, five, six, and seven in some ascending order. Same if I say B is equals to D, B, G, A, L. If I check my B, we'll find it to be A, B, D, G, L. All right, so ascending orders kind of thing. I'll let's say it's starting to end goes with the sets, right? Okay. So same here goes with the dictionaries. These dictionaries are actually very useful when you go with the data science kind of things or the data base. The projects will be dealing, we'll be dealing with something called as dictionaries will be playing a very important role in, the pro in our projects and we'll be using some sort of numpy, pandas and all. So if you have good um, knowledge on that, it's better, right? Okay. So let's go with the dictionaries. Questions are there in your assignments for the sets. We'll complete, we'll complete that, okay? Now dictionary is something which is having values in the form of a key and a pair, all right? Like you have, to, let's say G is equals to a dictionary, a game dictionary. So first there is a key, let's say K1, then there is a value. Now if the value is in numeric, you will write just V1 as like, numeric values always will be like that right now if it is not numeric then inside the strings and remember like in the set you don't 
repeat the element or as I said do not permit you to repeat the elements like same in the dictionaries it does not permit like it you can write there is no such restrictions that you cannot write you can write the same keys for two times like if I say see k1 again but the value is different for now but the keys are same so what will happen once you have written the k1 and you have given the value of v1 again you are writing k1 and you are giving the value of v2 right so the original value will be replaced that is k1 will be replaced and uh, sorry v1 will be replaced and you will be getting v2 there all right so k1 will only hold the value of v2 so that is important that don't make duplicate keys you can make duplicate values so what we are writing in the k sectors are the keys right so let's say k2 so this is a sample dictionary what we have made all right so to see the keys we will be writing g dot keys so we have k1 and k2 as our keys what are the values g dot values these are the values that is v1 and v2 now to see the keys and the values add for once we can just write g dot items so we see the k1 v1 k2 v2 okay next in the dictionary you can use a method to uh, like retrieve something that is called as a get method get key method like if i say a dictionary d having values a 1 b two and don't forget to give commas in between them c three and b four all right this is a dictionary you can write in any ways like if you can just write it like if the small one we can just write like this Now if I say that I want to see what is stored in my C, so I will just write D of C. I see there is 3 stored over there. Alright. It's the same way that if you want, you can just write the D dot get of C. So you will find 3. Alright. The same thing. So get of any E will be giving you the value of that. Alright. Nice. Now, if if there is no such key, like uh, if I, if I make e like d dot get e, what do you see? Nothing, no results. But if I write something, you will get that result zero. So if I say that d dot get e equals to zero, that means this will not be added here, right? If you don't write anything, you'll not get any values. But if I write d dot get of e is equals to zero, so you'll get the zero printed over there. Otherwise, you'll get nothing. Okay. So this is like uh, you can mention any values. Like if I see, uh, if I write for d dot get for a, what is the value? One. But what if I write ten? Right. Uh, what if I write three for a? What is the thing? We are getting the same results. Right. So if the values is being stored, you'll get the result. So otherwise, whatever the value you write for the keys, you'll be printing there. Right? Next. Okay. So we did the keys, values, items. Get key has been done. Alright. For pairs you use key and values, that is item one. Alright. So in dictionary we cannot use pop because pop is something which is used for remove the last element, right? In dictionary, how can you remove the last element? Because you have the items basically, right? So we have to remove the total item because every of the element is some, nothing but the uh, key as well as the values, right? So you have to delete the total key, not the value, right? 
so basically if you delete the key the value will be automatically deleted so you have to remove the item not the values and the keys all right okay so in case of pop we'll be using pop item so i'll be using d dot pop item so whatever the last key will be will be removed see last key is d and the value is 4 has been removed what if you say d dot pop pop expected at least one argument right so in this case if you want to like uh, delete something like if you want to delete c so i'll say d dot pop c so c is deleted and the value 3 has also been deleted okay so these are the uh, like formats of writing something inside a dictionary right so a lot of things can be written inside a dictionary a lot more examples and like database and all are built in the case of a dictionary various things are being made a nested dictionary kind of thing comes like when you deal with the dictionaries we also deal with nested dictionary nested is something like a dictionary within a dictionary we say it as Let's say I'm uh, making a random dictionary. So let's say there is a class called as 10C. Okay. And is having students names. All right. So name of the students writing there. Let's say A, B, C. Three students are there. Okay. Let's say their roll numbers one, two, three. That's it, right? Now, this is the ten C. Same now. Let's say ten A. I'm copying this. Right. So in this case now, D. E F one one two two three three X B G H I one 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 two 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 three three three. All right. So three of the dictionaries, three of the keys, and sorry, two of the keys. Basically, total six keys and the values. All right. Now, if I make a dictionary of students, then I'll make class. right so class is basically having three of their values so class 10 let's say class 10 is having its own dictionary all right so class is having its own uh, value that is x let's say or class is having is something like this right one key and the value class is having a dictionary of xc xa and xp on hashable data or okay one second, one second. 10. Hmm. or class is having first one you can write is like students of 10 a equals to x a x b a simple one i'm making okay like this so if you look onto the students dot keys so what keys you have only 
10 a 10 b and 10 c so if i say now students dot get the 10 a so what do you see the name of the students in the 10 a is d e f their roll numbers are 11 22 and 23 okay now if you want that students of 10 b of c of like name of e uh, name would define right you will be getting values from there so 10 b student names are g h n i right like that so this is kind of a nested dictionary you can say on so this will be used like in that purpose so various things can be done with the nested dictionaries okay so any doubts anyone is having in the sets and the dictionaries See the chat box. Okay, six people are there exactly. So I hope no one is having doubts. So this is like how we deal up with the set sensor. So all the data types has been completed till then, right? Now uh, let's come to the next topic. Let's complete the functions today also, so that from tomorrow we can go with the uh, your projects and all, right? And we'll try to complete things soon. Right. So function is something like till now we have been dealing with uh, all the inbuilt functions or the you like uh, uh, the defined functions predefined functions now we'll be dealing with the user defined functions basically functions are of two types right one is the predefined and the next is the user defined now function is something a kind of a group of uh, some statements that performs some specific task right they are just uh, basically they help us to break our program into smaller and smaller modules right uh, very small small programs you can just write a line to evacuate like a lot of uh, lines inside that right so what is exactly like if i say if i say that there are um, one two three four five six seven eight nine and zero or ten if there is a list l equals to this if i say a sum of l what is that it is like adding 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 so instead of adding 1 1 1 1 or instead of doing four of all these all these things right so what can be how can be a function made like i can make a function which can add something and that can be giving the values like that right so let's write a function right for writing a function you need to define it right so for defining we need to write def okay and then the function name what is the function name you want right and then the parameters we will learn what are the parameters then the parameters okay and inside that like a colon and then you write your total program okay so parameters arguments through which we actually pass values to a function but these are optional required if you if you want you can write if you don't want that is your choice okay so let's say we want to make a function of something exactly like this adding so let's say add function okay now what to add what to add like whatever the values will be given inside the parameters like that we will be using the uh, like sum so let's say we are taking three parameters a b and c okay what do we have to do is we have to return the user a plus 
b plus c that's it we have to return the user of a plus b plus c that's it that is our function that is done now if we see the add where it is all right so if we run this add function what will happen you will be getting an error that is three missing required positional arguments all right or if you go with the function of uh, let's say if we get the help of this add do we okay one second do we get this add of a so see what it is giving that is a function is having a b and c modules uh, the parameters to write okay so what you need to do is you need to write something inside which could be added so let's say one two and three in case of a b and c and you run this you'll get the value exactly so we have six now what if we write more parameters so it takes three positional arguments but ten were given so what can we do in that case if we like want to remove the parameters if we want 10 parameters anyone can tell what we can do should we write a to z if some function is not working in that case Hmm, anyone? Quickly. Mm -hmm. All right, fine. So basically, you write the parameters there, right? Or you can say return the sum. Still having parameters add take zero ah three value so no parameters is being given right there so you can use for loops for i in whatever the add parameters would be there you can return the sums for now we are taking three that's it and we need to return the sum of or we not using the sum why we need for that so a plus b plus c Right, similar if you go for the help of the function of sum. Fine, this is an iterable one. That is what I'm saying. So when the iterable is empty, the return it returns the start value. Alright, so what if we say sum of four? Integer is not iterable. Alright, so it goes on loops, iterations, and then it goes for adding. Like you can say L is something equals or addition as a function, let's say. Before that, let's say A is equals to a list, right? And then, or A is equals to zero. And um, let's define a function addition. So let's say what are the parameters the user is entering? Like if we have if we want to add four values a, b, and c and d. Right? In fact, I'm going with the add of one, two, three, four. What you can do, one more thing is for i in the length of the values or a b c d something like that go for uh, like adding the values of a plus equals to i that is one by one whatever the values are coming there like that right so it, like i think that going with return is much easier or in case you can do something like if it is a list you can say like uh, if you are adding more values like for i in let's say range of 10 
if I'm adding like 0 to 10 or 1 to 10 so what I'll say a dot append of i so finally what you'll find in the a is the values from 1 to 10 right so what exactly the same thing goes like in case of a gives a def of a function addition so if it goes for like 10 characters I'm just making a sample right if you go for the 10 characters what you are returning to the user is the sum of a basically inundation error oh. like this so if if I say addition so this time this function is not working we say it as one right because after all the things we are just returning for in for loop so we should make it here kind of in this case yeah mm -hmm. yeah this is 55 values right so this is like function goes on so you can write something like define for a user like a, a greeting function kind of thing right you can say uh, def of greet and you can write inside the name what did the user write so if I say so you, you have to return for greeting what we do we will be returning like hello plus the name so let's say greet of wiki so you see hello wiki so we need just a space here from this see hello wiki right so we'll be dealing with this because when we'll be going with the bank project will re require a lot of function workings a lot of indexings a lot of ranges and all those things right so two kind of functions user defined functions built-in functions till now we'll be dealing with we have been dealing with the built-in functions and now we just we have made it uh, user defined functions all right okay so to add numbers you can use that subtraction you can make your own calculators using that right for additions for subtractions using elif and all problems has been there some questions has been given to you you can go with that